Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer on this Tuesday the 7th of July. We have a few moments of stillness before we begin our service. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. O God, will you not give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Truly your his salvation is near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness look down from heaven. Righteousness shall go before him and direct his steps in the way. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray of one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 89, verses 19 to the end. So I will do the, uh, the odds if you'd like to do the evens as we come in. The Lord has sworn an oath to David, a promise from which he will not shrink. You spoke once in a visit and said to your faithful people, You have set a youth above the mighty. I have raised a young man over the people. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. My hand shall hold him fast, and my arm shall strengthen him. No enemy shall deceive him, nor any wicked person afflict him. I will strike down his foes before his face, and beat down those that hate him. My truth also and my steadfast love shall be with him, and in my name shall his head be exalted. I will set his dominion upon the sea, and his right hand upon the rivers. He shall come to me, he shall call me to me, you are my father, my God and the rock of my salvation. And I will make him my firstborn, the most high above the kings of the earth. The Lord I have pledged to him will I keep forever, and my covenant will stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. But if his children forsake my law, and cease to walk in my judgments. If they break my statutes and do not keep my commandments, I will punish their offences with a rod, and their sins with scourges. But I will not take from him my, my steadfast love, nor suffer my truth to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter what has gone out of my lips. Once for all have I sworn for my, by my holiness, that I will not prove false to David. His seed shall endure for ever, and his throne as the sun before me. It shall stand fast for ever as the moon, the enduring witness in the heavens. But you have cast off and reject your anointed. You have shown fierce anger against him. You have broken the covenant with your servant, and have cast his crown to the dust. You have broken down all his walls, and laid his strongholds in ruins. All who pass by despoil him, and he has become the scorn of our neighbours. You have exalted the right hand of his foes, and made all his enemies rejoice. You have turned back the edge of his sword, and have not upheld him in the battle. You have made an end of his radiance, and cast his throne to the ground. You have cut short the days of his youth, and have covered his name have covered him with shame. How long will you hide yourself so utterly, O Lord? How long shall your anger burn like fire? Remember how short my time is, how frail you have made all mortal flesh, which of the living shall not see death, and shall deliver their soul from the power of darkness. Where, O Lord, is your steadfast love of old, which you swore to David in your faithfulness? Remember, O Lord, how your servant is scorned, 
How I bear in my bosom the taunts of many peoples. While your enemies mock, O Lord, while they mock the footsteps of your anointed. Blessed be the Lord for evermore. Amen and Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord has sworn an oath to David, a promise from which he will not shrink. Our Old Testament reading is a continuation of the book of Job, chapter 38, from the beginning to the end of the chapter. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind, Who is this that darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up your loins like a man, I will question you, and you shall declare to me. Where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth? Tell me, if you have understanding. Who determined its measurements? Surely you know. Or who stretched the line upon it? Or what were the base, or on what were the base, bases sunk? Or who laid its quarterstone? When the morning star sang together, and all the heavenly beings sang for joy. Or who shut in the seas with doors when it burst out from the womb? When I made the clouds its garment, and thick darkness its swaddling band, and prescribed bounds for it, and set bars and doors, and said, Thus far you shall come and no further. And how and here shall you pray. And here shall your proud ways be stopped. Have you commanded the morning since your days began? And caused the dawn to know its place, so that it might take hold of the skirts of the earth, and the wicked be shaken out of it. It is changed like clay under the seal, and it is dyed like a garment. Light is withheld from the wicked, and their uplifted arm is broken. Have you entered into the springs of the sea, or walked in the recesses of the deep? Have the gates of death been revealed to you, or have you seen the gates of deep darkness? Have you comprehended the expanse of the earth? Declare, if you know all this. Where is the way to the dwelling of light, and where is the place of darkness, that you may take it to its territory, and that you may discern the past to its home? Surely you know, for you were born there, and the number of your days is great. Have you entered the storehouses of the snow, or have you seen the storehouses of the hail, which I have reserved for times of trouble, for the day of battle and war? What is the way to the place where the light is, distri is dist distributed, or where the east wind is scattered from the earth? Who has cut a channel for the torrents of rain, and a way for the thunderbolt, to bring, a light, to bring rain on a land and where no one lives, on the desert which is empty of human life, to satisfy the waste and desolate land, and to make the grounds put forth grass. Has the rain a father, or who has begotten the, the drops of dew? From whose womb did the ice come forth, and who has given birth to the hoarfrost of heaven? The waters become hard like stone, and the face of the deep is frozen. Can you bind the chains of the Pylades, or loose the cords of Orion? Can you lead forth the Mazareth and in their season, or can you guide the bear with its children? Do you know the ordinances of the heavens? Can you establish their rule on earth? Can you lift up your voice to the clouds, so that a flood of water may cover you? Can you send forth lightning, so that they may go and say to you, Here we are? Who has put wisdom in the inward parts, or given understanding to the mind? Who has the wisdom to number the clouds, or who can tilt the water skins and of the heavens? When the dust runs into a mass and cloths cling together, can you hunt the prey for the lion, or satisfy the appetite of young lions, when they crouch in their dens or lie in wait in their culvert? Who provides for the raven its prey when its young ones cry to God and wander about for lack of food? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I saw the holy city coming down out of heaven from God. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea had no, was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. And the one who has sat upon the throne said, 
Behold, I make all things new. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. I saw the holy city come down out of heaven from God. Our New Testament reads is a continuation of Paul's letter to the Romans. Chapter 15, verses 1 to 13. We who are strong ought to put up with the failings of the weak, and not to please ourselves. Each of us must please our neighbour for the good purpose of building up the neighbour. For Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the insults of those who insult you have fallen or be. For whatever was written in the former days was written in for our instruction, so that by steadfastness and by the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another, in accordance with Christ Jesus, <coughs> so that together you may know with one voice glory the, glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another, therefore, just as Christ has welcomed you, for the glory of God. For I tell you that Christ has become a servant of the circumcised on the behalf of the truth of God, in order that he might confirm the promise given to the patriarchs, and in order that the Gentiles might glorify God in his mercy. As it is written, Therefore will I confess you among the Gentiles, and sing praises to your name. And again he says, Rejoice, O Gentiles, for his people. And again, praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and let all the peoples praise him. And again, Isaiah said, The root of Jesse shall come, the one who ri ri rises to rule the Gentiles. In him the Gentiles shall hope. May the God of hope be with, fill you with all joy and peace of believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. You have mercy on those who fear you, from generation to generation. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He hath looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit. Casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You have mercy on those who fear you, from generation to generation. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the day that has been. We thank you for being with us in all that we have done and said. We thank you for being with us in all that we have shown to others and done for others. As we come to the evening, be with us, guide our thoughts and our prayers, that we may rest in peace and rise in the morning to give you thanks. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for those who are being affected by the coronavirus. We pray for those who are in self-isolation. We pray for those who are in quarantine. We pray for those who are shielding. We pray for all who are in hospital. And those who have died. We pray for all who are mourning at this time, for all who have lost loved ones to this disease. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray and remember those who were have been killed in the July 7 7th uh, bombing. We pray for those families who have 
try to come to terms with their loss. We pray for those lives cut short. We pray that there be peace in this world, for an end of violence, an end of suffering. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we pray for all who are anxious at this time, all who are worried about what is to come. We pray for all who are struggling with this new reality. We pray especially for those who are suffering from mental health issues, for those who are struggling with the isolation, for those who have lost their jobs, and for those who do not know what is to come. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for all those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray for those who are reaching the end of their lives and we hold before you Colette Bethany as she comes towards the end of her life. We pray too for those who have recently passed away, for those whose anniversary death occurs at this time. We remember Robert Sampson. We pray for his family. We pray for all who are grieving, all who are mourning. We pray for all those who are anxious about a loved one. We pray for those who are struggling. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O oh God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy, increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that with you as our ruler and guide, we may so pass through the things temporal, that we lose none, not our hold on things eternal. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. So let us pray with confidence as our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please do join me tomorrow at 9am and at 5pm for morning and evening prayer. Until we can see each other again, God bless, stay safe, and have a very good evening.